Okay, I'm going to the B&B Theater, and I'm going to watch a movie called Maxxine. Yeah, so uh, it's a sequel to X, and uh, there was a movie called Pearl that was a prequel to X. So uh, this is the third movie in the series, so uh, yeah, when I get back out to the car, I'll let you know what I thought about it. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So for what it's worth, I'm the Joshua the Cuckoo, and these are mine. Max Xene. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, it is the sequel to X, and there was a movie called Pearl that was the prequel to X. From what I understand, it's kind of an interesting thing. Like, I think the idea was they're filming some flashbacks, but then the director was like, I kept thinking of more things, and they're like, I'm just going to make a prequel <laughs> or something. Because it was kind of weird, because it was the same actress, and this actress is in this one. I think her, la her last name is Goth. Is it Mia? Mia Goth? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, it's the continuation of this story. And the first one was hard. <laughs> it, was, it was gory. It was explicit. It was very much filmed like a 70s horror movie which is awesome it had a lot of those vibes pearl it was it was it didn't go quite as hard as i if i remember but it was still kind of interesting you know and it was, it was creepy and that one had scenes that were filmed it felt a lot more like uh, like wizard of oz like they really tried making it feel old timey a little bit sort of thing it seems like you know that sort of thing now this new movie maxine is set in the 80s and it kind of does have more of an 80s 80s feel to the like an 80s movie except it's not necessarily an 80s horror movie it's more set like an 80s you know crime whodunit sort of thing but it's kind of interesting because we got this character, she's a porn actress, she wants to get into the actual movies, you know, because she wants to be a star. You know, that's her goal there. So, <laughs> she's moved to Hollywood, she's changed her name. She, uh, you know, she's looking, she's looking to get into the movies, and she finally gets hired, you know, but then everybody around her starts dying. What? And, uh, Oh, yeah, Kevin Bacon's in this movie in an odd turn of events. So you get some Kevin Bacon bits. And he does a good job. He plays. It's like you almost forget it's him. I mean, the first couple times I saw him, I didn't recognize him. But then it was like, oh, wait, this is Kevin Bacon. <laughs> and he's playing a, a grizzled private investigator sort of guy, you know. So, yeah, so someone is basically trying to blackmail her and it's going to sideline her career in the movies. And there's a, a lady director who's real, you know, you got to eliminate all things in, in your life that will, that will uh, hinder your success, you know, to make it in this business sort of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you what ends up being the, 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 the ending thing there. This is all like set around the time of the Night Stalker. So there's like Night Stalker killings, but then the cops think there's this copycat killer, you know, sort of thing. So we're not going to talk about what happens at the end there, but I will say... <sighs> The thing about this movie, well, there's, I, I, I like, I like the story and I like the execution of it. I feel like this movie is really, uh, 
trying too hard to uh, live up to its predecessors sort of thing. Because the movie goes hard, but it doesn't seem as necessary as in especially the first one. I mean... Nothing really adds to the to the character. <laughs> it's and and a lot of the stuff seems like it could have been cut easily. Like it's it's not intricate to the to the plot necessarily, you know? I mean, and there's well one scene in particular that is just insane. <laughs> and it is one of the most brutal things I've seen on the screen. And I'm surprised it's in there, but, and it was, I mean, but it's, we already know she's brutal, you know, we, we've seen that. And so I guess you got to do things to maintain that, but it's just like, <laughs> it just seems kind of thrown in there, <laughs> you know, sort of thing. So... I don't know. It's like the movie didn't need that stuff other than it's trying to live up to what's been established by the other, the other well, especially by X. It's just, so it's on one hand, it's like this movie is playing it like it's almost, it's almost like an actual movie that doesn't need that because the first one, it was kind of the marketing and everything. It's all about the shock, you know, we're going hard. We're going back to the 70s exploitation movies. But this movie, it's a, it's like a normal movie with some extra gory, hard stuff like tacked onto it. <laughs> that's the, that's what I came away, you know, after seeing it. There is a little thing at the end. And I'm not sure if it's a tease. Like, at the end of Pearl, it teased this movie, Maxine. I think there was even a, a trailer for it. I think it was a trailer. But, so this one, and I can see, because there's some loose ends. So, I think it might be setting up that, you know, the story can go on with the loose ends. Like, I thought as soon as, as, soon as it happened, I was like... Well, that's <laughs> shouldn't have did that <laughs> you know that's that's uh you know sort of leaving something behind and then everything that happens it, it leaves things open for things to be discovered and uh followed up on by you know other parties in the future sort of thing so there's that but I don't know if you can hear these fireworks. It is fireworks time in Missouri. So, but I did, I did like the, the movie. You know, know it's, kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. It's like it's not like the movie didn't blow me away. But I liked it's the continuation of the story, of her story arc. But it's just uh. The movie is at the same time not hard enough and the stuff they put in that is hard seems like it was tacked on and it's not organic <laughs> i guess you could say but anyway so maxine it's out it's out now in theaters so you could check that out if you wish don't bring the kids those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing Maxine. I'm throwing them up on thoughts and opinions palette. They will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. You know, that's what usually happens. But uh, go ahead and tell me your thoughts and opinions. You know, put them in the comments section. Uh, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. Uh, don't, uh, don't forget to feed your cat, you know. They get very hungry. And don't leave a videotape of your incriminating evidence uh with with your friend at the video store just saying